Now we're going to cross over to our reporter, Carol Weston, uh, who's at Althorpe as part of the uh, Cultural Olympiad programme this afternoon. Good afternoon, Carol. Good afternoon, Andy. Yes, you've just caught me next to the jousting, actually, and uh, I think it's a bungee run. I'm not entirely sure. I certainly haven't had a go, but so uh, the sun's shining here and everybody looks to be having real fun. And I'm joined by Earl Spencer, who uh, I don't think you're quite queuing for the jousting, are you? Well, I was. I was being forced there by my seven-year-old son, but uh, luckily they've run out of uh, petrol for the, for the machine generating it, so I've been let off. So does that mean um, you'll have a go at the bungee run? I will. I've got to, apparently, because I, I got out of it earlier saying I was too big for it, but unfortunately the man says that anyone can do it, so there we are. <laughs> Fantastic. But everybody does look as if they're having uh, such good fun here, don't they? Yes, it's really nice to see, you know. Um, there's, there's lots of people here who um, are supporting the events, and there's lots of general public who happen to be here who are learning a lot about Daventry and the Olympics and all sorts of things. So all in all, it's a very happy day. And um, how did all thought get involved? Because I know something was held at the Daventry Leisure Centre. There are lots of events around the county. How, how did you get involved? Well, they just said, could they bring the event here today? And I thought, well, why not? You know, always happy to support uh, anything to do with the area here. And also with the Olympics being so important to England in the next year or so, then uh, why not? You know, best to, best to be behind it and, and supporting. And with the Olympics only a year away, just about on Wednesday, uh, do you have a favourite sport? Anything you support? Well, I, I, I notice that we're really good, as, as they say, at the sitting down sports, the sailing and all that and the bicycling. But um, rowing, my, the school I went to at, at Eton, we, we had uh, Matthew Pinson was there. So I suppose I've always followed the rowing. So, uh, yeah, no, that's one of them. But uh, I, I, I look forward to it. having it in our country, looking at all the events, really. I think as a viewer on TV when it's abroad, I tend to just look at the highlights. But uh, looking at all the events, we've quite fun. Did you apply for any tickets? Are you going? Are you lucky enough to be going next year? I didn't apply, um, but I'll be watching it on TV. But you know, today is a fantastic day for everyone involved because uh, there's over a thousand people turned up for this and uh, a lot of smiley faces, and that's what it's about. Lots and lots. Thank you very much. I can see that uh, they may be inflating that again soon. So <laughs> well, you good news, back in so. the queue. Okay, thank <laughs> thank you. you very much. Okay. And um, Paul Pritchard. You helped to organise this. How's, uh, how's it going? It looks as if it's been quite a success. Oh, it's been a fantastic success. Um, we, we opened at 11 o'clock. I've got to say the last hour was a little bit nerve-wracking before we opened. Um, but we've managed to get everybody through the door, everybody in place, and um, everybody's delivering a fantastic show. So I had some great dance performances in front of the main house. Um, and I think our, our next is martial arts um, outside the front as well. Um, we've also got one of the Olympic mascots with us today. So we've got Wenlock with us today. Um, and he's been very popular with the children as well. Yeah, there's lots of people queuing to take their pictures with Wenlock. That's good. That's what we like to see. I think um, over the next year or so, you're not going to be able to move for images of uh, Wenlock and Mandeville. Um, this is the two Olympic mascots. So again, it's a, it's a big honour to be able to bring one of them here today. And uh, El Spencer saying there are around sort of a thousand people, I think. Have we got any idea on these sort of official figures? Uh, not at the moment, I haven't. I, I did an update earlier, and they were up around the, the 800 mark. Um, I suspect we're probably well over a thousand now. Uh, I know that obviously Allthorpe receives a lot of visitors anyway, um, and then we've managed to get the grounds opened up for free today. So um, a lot of people are coming on the back of the event as well. Um, so good numbers. I will let you know uh, before you leave. And Still time to come down as well, it's free. Plenty of time to come down. Like I said earlier, um, the, the events are going on till six o'clock and then from six o'clock till eight o'clock, there's a free cinema event in the main field uh, using the Allthorpe House as the backdrop. And have you had a go on anything, Paul? I wish I had the chance. Um, I've just been taking lots of photos and trying to take uh, lots of video so we can really sort of convey the message once this is all over, how successful it's been. Okay, Andy, th uh, thank you very much, Paul. Andy. Um, we've got quite a few list of uh, events coming up. We've got the street football starting shortly. Oh, the rugby, the boxing, the athletics, as well as those cultural events. We've got uh, cinema later on tonight. When the sun goes down, people can watch. Uh, I think it's Romeo and Juliet on the big screen here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll get down there and see that. Thank you very much for that, Carol. Take care.